In our previous session, we talked about the mother and father wounds that we carry. Yes, and we also saw how they stop us from living Christ-like, matured lives. So true. But even today, there are many that deny that they have emotional wounds in their lives. But the truth is, all of us are emotionally wounded, some mm -hmm. just more than others, and we see it in their behavior. Mm -hmm. If all of us are wounded, is it possible to get healing from these wounds? If so, how? That is a great question. And in the next session, we're going to learn from our trainers more about our emotional woundedness and how we can receive healing in the process we are walking. It is difficult to lead a family when one is carrying father wounds. It's like wearing a backpack full of stones. It wears you down, pulls you to the ground, it's tiring, and most of all, it affects others around you in a negative way. Let's talk about experiencing freedom and healing from the father and mother wounds. The healing process begins with owning the problem. Owning the problem means that you need to take responsibility for your woundedness. Stop playing the blame game. And for us to justify ourselves is the opposite of moving forward in our weakness. If we don't own our faults, we can't correct them. A wrong reaction to a transgression is just as bad as the transgression. To stop playing the shame game. Self-pity is destructive. It enslaves us. And it is not liberate, it does not liberate us. When we show self-pity, we're putting ourselves in a box for self-destruction. Playing the victim does not really set us free. It doesn't set us free. And it doesn't serve anyone. For you to play the victim, it is not in your favor. In fact, you are working against you. And the last one here says, to own the problem, we need to step forward and step towards the solution. Not stepping forward to the self-pity spur, but moving forward towards the solution which is not always easy, but by the grace of the Almighty, we will all get there. When we own a fault and say to ourselves, Emeka, I am wrong here. I know I am wrong here. Now, Emeka, what can I do to fix my wrong? You must acknowledge that you have a father wound or a mother wound and that you want to be healed from it. Personally, after taking the father wounds test, I discovered that I had father wounds in the area of affirmation. I needed to hear my father's words of affirmation and approval, but my dad was not always good at expressing his emotions through words when he was pleased with me. As an outcome, I would always second guess myself, unsure of whether or not what I did was good enough. This negative thoughts about who I was crippled me and I had to make a decision to deal with these insecurities. The wrong that you fail to fix today will wait for you tomorrow, next tomorrow, and your children, and your grandchildren, and it becomes a generational wrong. It becomes a fault that has been blinded and it has turned into our blind spot. And that is why when we discover certain faults about ourselves, let us not be ashamed to walk up to people who have got the skills, the ideas on helping us. Name the wound. For example, my dad has neglected to affirm me. Or my dad was always busy and I did not get the attention that I needed from him. Name the unfulfilled need by stating it verbally. One thing you may need to do is stand in front of a mirror, pretend that you are talking to your dad and say, Dad, you remember when I was 12 years old, I was playing basketball in a tournament at school, 
and I attempted to make a shot, but I missed. I was disappointed because I thought you would cheer me up, but instead you scolded me and even said that I was weak. After that, I always felt that I was not good enough. These expectations may never be fulfilled. Nonetheless, you have to say them. You have to release them. And in some cases, you may need to write a letter to your dad without sending it to him. That's okay. Finally, you need to face the facts about the impact of the wound. Acknowledge if it made you angry towards your father, towards your mother, towards God, or even towards yourself. Acknowledge if it, if it cost you to make a series of bad decisions out of your hurts and insecurities. When you decide to face and own these problems, you begin to experience freedom. Playing the victim does not set you free. It doesn't set us free. When you try to be the one, the people will say sorry, Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, they're not making you grow. They're hiding something that you do not, you also want to hide. You're not ready to let out. So they're helping you hide your faults. They're helping you hide your wounds that you are not bold enough to step up and work it out. You no longer blame your father or mother or other people causing those problems. You no longer wallow in self-pity or play the victim. When you own the problem, you are moving towards a solution.